EPOM2UPQL. There's a lot of match betting abbreviations to learn about when you get started with match betting. So I wanted to make this video in order to just save people a load of time and effort rather than you having to go and research all these. You can just watch this video and learn about every single one in a quick short video. Hey, welcome back to the channel. For those of you new here, my name's Chris, and on here I love talking about how to make money online and generally be smarter with your money. Before I get into all these abbreviations, I'll just quickly mention the Profit Boss Match Betting Facebook group, which you can join down in the description. While these abbreviations are all the ones that I know about and believe that I think are the most important, I did ask over on the Facebook group if there was any that I should add into this, so there are a few added in here that I didn't really um, consider worth putting in myself just to be extra helpful with it. So I'm going to split this up into four different groups. So it's going to be general match betting abbreviations, horse racing abbreviations, football abbreviations, and then casino abbreviations. In the general match betting abbreviations then, we firstly have the OM abbreviation, which stands for Odds Monkey. That's, of course, the match betting software that you need to use in order to do match betting properly. And moving on from OM, you will then have PA, which is Profit Accumulator, which is their competitor to do with, you know, software for using in match betting. You then have QL, which stands for Qualifying Loss. Now, Qualifying Loss is the amount of money that you're going to lose when you place a qualifying bet with an offer that is to do with unlocking a free bet. MB is simply match betting, so that, that might be obvious to some, but I wanted to include that in there. QP is for qualifying profit. This is when you take a slight ARB on a qualifying bet, so instead of it being a qualifying loss, it's a slight profit, hence QP. Then you have FB, that stands for free bet. Then there's BFSB, which is Betfair Sports Book. You also then have PP, which is Paddy Power. Another bookmaker which has an abbreviation is WH, which is William Hill. You also then have IO, which is Implied Odds. Next up we have SM, which is Smarkets, the betting exchange. We then have SNR, which stands for Stake Not Returned. Then you have ARB, so A-R-B, ARB, which is when you place a bet where the lay odds are lower than the back odds and it gives you that slight profit and this is known as an ARB. You then have a SHARB, which is a less commonly done thing, but people still do it, which is a shop ARB where you would go into a shop, place a back bet and then lay the opposing bets on your phone and create a shop ARB there and make a profit that way. Getting into the horse racing abbreviations then, you have EP, which stands for extra place. Then you have BOG, so B-O-G, uh, no, it's not a toilet. <laughs> it's best odds guaranteed, which is simply where you place a bet at, say, back odds of 10 on a horse, and then the odds go higher, and that horse wins. The bookmaker will guarantee you the better odds, so best odds guaranteed, and pay your winning bet out at those better odds. Moving on from that, you've got E-W, or E slash W, which simply stands for each way. So that's when you place an each way bet on a horse race in order to cover the win and the place parts of the bet. Then you have SP, which is for starting price. And again, that's to do with horse racing. Getting into the football match betting abbreviations then. We firstly have the, the big one that most people know about, but if you're brand new to match betting, then of course you might not have heard of it. But that is two up. So two up is referred to as the Bet365 Early Payout Offer abbreviation. You want your team to go two goals ahead to get paid out early and then the other team to come back and make it a draw so that your back bet wins and your lay bet wins. And two up is just a simple way to just talk about that offer without having to go into describing it every single time. Then you have ACA, which a lot of you that have come from regular betting on football will already know about what an ACA is. But if anyone started match betting that's never done any kind of betting before, uh, ACA stands for accumulator. So an accumulator bet is one where you place several bets or it can even just be two bets. So two or more bets. And for that bet to win, every single outcome that you've placed that bet on all need to win for that accumulator to win. So for accumulator, because it's such a long word, you would just simply say ACA. Then again with football and relating back to the two-up offer, 
there's something called a full turnaround. So that's where the match ends 2-2 or the, the losing team has come back from uh, losing. So your team's gone two goals ahead and then it ends up going to a full turnaround. So FTA and makes you that full profit of the back bet and the lay bet winning. Another bet in football, which isn't really so much to do with match betting in particular, but it was something that people wanted to point out over on the Facebook group, is BTTS, which is a bet for both teams to score. So you're betting on yes or no that both teams will score, and that's yeah, simply put as BTTS. For the final segment here to do with Casino, the only abbreviation that I could really think of was EV, which is expected value. So the EV is how much expected value you're going to make from that casino offer. And I really couldn't think of any others to do with casino because you have wagering, which I don't know if people would put that down to like WGR or if they just put wagering, but it could be put as WGR, I suppose. But what I'd like everyone to do that's now watched this video and you've made it to this part of the video is of course definitely press the like button if you found it helpful. But as well, if you're more experienced, so you, you know, you've been doing match betting for a while, please do comment below with any abbreviations that you think I may have missed out. Oh, and if you could share this video around to anyone that you think might be interested in doing match betting, then I just think this video will be super helpful and save them a load of time and effort with having to learn all these different abbreviations because there wasn't a video that I could think of on YouTube that had this kind of information in it. So as usual then, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.